What's up guys, Ankle Spankin here, and today we are going to show you one trick that not only can you use on Ari, but any champion with this sort of ability. Now let me highlight what we're doing here. What I'm going to show you guys is the Charm Flash, a very, very simple thing to do, but a lot of people just do not get it, okay? It's not a very difficult thing to do. As you can see, I am just nailing it left and right, dude. But basically, let me explain to you what it is. When you use your charm, you can look right here and you'll see the cast bar for charm. You see that? Every time I cast it, there's a little cast bar for charm. Any ability in the game that has that little kind of wind up, you can use that ability and then flash to change the direction that it comes from. Wherever your cursor is when you launch the ability is where the direction of the ability will fly, but where you flash to is where the ability will come from. So no matter what, no matter where I flash, if I have my cursor here on the dummy, my charm will always fly towards the dummy. But if I charm and then flash, I will go flying, or my charm will come out from wherever I flashed to. Now the reason this is good is because when people are running away, there can be, say, say there's a target dummy, a minion wave right here, just a target right in front of it. You can E, flash over it, right? You can do things like that, because they'll be like, oh, ha, 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 there's a minion or a champion right in front of me. They can never get me. But if you are right here, you can just charm flash, and you can get right around that obstacle. Now, let's see, what's the, what's the fucking, whatever, clear, clear target dummies, okay. So we put this thing down, and another use, you can do it, um, say you're trying to play Lee Sin. You can do the same thing, be right in front of someone's face, and you'll go right behind them. Now imagine that with an ultimate, right? I'm not going to go out and pick Lee Sin to ult it, but you just hit the ultimate and then go right behind them. You can do that to avoid skill shots, do anything you want. And the main application that Ari's find it is for the Charm Flash into melee range, because Charm, as an ability, is pretty easy to dodge. It's narrow, it's kind of slow moving, but when people are playing Ari and they want to make something happen, you just charm flash right into someone's face. If you get right into someone's face, it is damn near unavoidable. I say damn near and you'll see why. <laughs> but it is very difficult to avoid and it really ensures that it goes off. Plus they don't really get any chance to react so they can't dodge. It is just so immediate. So do learn how to do this. Go into the training tool, learn how to do this kind of combo. You can do it with any ability that has any sort of wind up like that. And well, with all that said, hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up guys, Ankle Spankin here, and today we are playing as Ari in the mid lane. And this is going to be a new, no, well, not new, but a different style of video than I might usually do. Um, it's still going to be commentary, so all that good stuff. But I wanted to try something different where I take a champion that's pretty good in the meta and not necessarily dumb it down. That's a really bad way to put it. But make it a little more noob friendly for people. Try and think of the easiest way I could play it to still make it really strong um, without you know having to have in-depth knowledge of a champion or really big knowledge of the mechanics, things like that. Just different builds that you can use to make the champion feel a little more effective a little more easily. And on Ari, I believe that she is a good example of a champion that you can do that with very effectively. With the Gunblade build. The Gunblade Lich Bane build, I think, does a phenomenal job of taking this champion and making her much easier for most people to play. Because, let me tell you why. Hold on, let me also just try and lane here too. Disclaimer here, I'm not usually a very good laner with Ari for some reason. There's not really any rhyme or reason to it. I'm just not. But the reason being, Gunblade does a lot of things for Ari. Building the Gunblade Lich Bane combo does a lot of things for Ari. It aids a lot of your burst with a lot of um, tools at your disposal that make it so it's either harder to miss your abilities or you just, ooh, or you just straight up, you know, just 
don't even need to use abilities to do damage. With the Lichbane, Lichbane Gunblade combo, you have your Gunblade active, which is a point and click, along with your Lichbane, which you use your W and auto attacks, and when you get the Lichbane passive too. On top of that, you get a lot of auto attack damage from the Gunblade's AD, as well as a big slow from it to make your landing your E a lot easier. You just get the whole shooting match, this whole huge array of tools at your disposal, just from building certain ways. So there's Riven right there. Keep an eye on that. And I really wanted to show this to you guys because uh, I think it's going to be super useful. Masters running, 12-18-0, using Thunderlords. Um, nothing crazy there. We are running pretty standard AP rune pages, just magic pen marks, armor seals, magic resistance per level glyphs, along with some ability power quintessences. Skill order, max Q first, then max W, then max E. <clears throat> and that is all you need to know. Now the Q, you guys do know it goes through targets and then you know increases your movement speed, does true damage on the way back. W, you just make little orbs pop up around you and then they seek the nearest targets if they hit the same target multiple times. It does, whoa, she dodged that charm. She didn't even try and juke it, but she still dodged it. What a beast. But uh, does a little less damage to the subsequent target if it gets hit multiple times. And the E is charm if you land up. Uh, makes um, these people just walk kind of aimlessly towards you. So, there you go. It's all of her abilities. Spirit Rush is uh, her big mobility gap closer ultimate, and it gives it uh, three charges of a dash that makes you fly towards wherever your cursor is, and then you shoot three bolts out of people and do damage to them. So there's Ari's entire kit. Aside from her passive, I guess I should go over her passive too. Whenever you land abilities on champions, you or not on champions, but on any target, you get a stack. This little buff right there, Essence Theft. And when that stacks up to 9, your next ability does heal you for a uh, you know amount of the damage it deals. So to use that properly, you want to try and make sure that you're using that with a Q, probably ideally through a minion wave. As you can see, my orb is green right now, and you can have this buff that's green at the bottom. That means it's ready. And now watch the healing that I get just from queuing through the wave. Lux doesn't have a lot of mana, so I'm not too worried about her. Queue through the wave, and just like that, I'm already back up to 500 health. So that's already passive. You can only get three stacks per, um, per spell cast, by the way. So if you queue through a whole wave, you'll still only get three stacks. So I think that's everything to explain there. And all you've seen so far is just standard landing, nothing crazy going on here. Just very standard landing against the Lux. Not a lot we can do. They have a Shen, and she's running Barrier. So killing her is going to be extremely difficult. And knowing Riven is coming from the bomb side of the river, we need to keep a sharp eye out for that. We do have our ultimate now, so we don't need to be as careful, but still a little careful. Let's get all three of those. Good shit. I'm actually CSing very well compared to how I might usually do on this champion. I don't know why. Like I said, my early game, for some reason, has always been super lackluster. Now, to really aid ourselves and make this game even easier on ourselves, we're going to go straight into the Hextech Revolver. Now, the usual build people see on Ari is uh, Nomicon Start because it gives you a lot of mana, CDR, uh, and a lot of AP. But... With Hextech Revolver, you build straight into the Gunblade. You also get additional damage on your auto attacks. 72 bonus magic damage as well as 40 AP. Plus, the item is cheap as fuck. It's only 1050 gold. So, very powerful item for only 1000 gold. Super, super good for you. And now, we are level 6. We can roam right now. And we are Ari, so when we do want to roam, if we don't feel like we can kill our mid laner, we just push mid out and leave <laughs> like if you don't feel like you can kill your mid laner why are you staying there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can make a roam happen i'm gonna go straight bottom ping on my way Ooh, he wants to steal this so if he wants to steal this i'm gonna walk over here he's gonna smite that i'll get this red candy too so now i have a red buff because that's ivern and we'll dive this dive dive so we can dive this no problem, uh, as long as he does this. Okay, so there we go. This, yep. Woo! Drop that. The Gunblade, dude. Or not the Gunblade, the Revolver. Hang on, I'm going to go ahead and just walk out of this one. There we go. Don't get hit there. Throw the Q, dodge the damage. Whoa, okay. 
team's eaten that, so Shen is down here. Two for two so far. And Riven's down here as well, so if she pushes this... Wait, that's only a level five Riven, so I'm totally fine here. She's going to try and do damage to me, but it's not really going to matter too much. I'm trying to avoid using my Q here because I want to save the damage portion of it. You can actually throw your Q behind you from the direction you're running, so you can have a very large speed boost whenever you're trying to get away from people. But I'm trying to avoid using that that way right now. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Because I want the damage in case I uh, get into the situation where I could use the damage. So let's see. I'm going to... And, uh, get the charm! Nice! Good shit. So I got the charm and we got the kill. I was waiting for her to do that. Had a feeling she was going to try and cheese me in that ivern bush. So had the charm at the ready. We got it. And I didn't want to just throw the charm blindly in there. Because if I did, then I kind of leave myself very vulnerable. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm doing something that some people might not recommend. A lot of people, when they're doing the Gunblade builds, they do not fully recommend just going for the Longswords. And I've wondered why, I've wondered why before. Because if you get Sheen, you can get a lot more bonus damage based on the Hexec Revolver Burst with your auto attack. Lots of additional bursts there. But I was thinking, you know, like I said, I'm trying to try and maybe make it a little more, I guess, for lack of a better term, noob friendly. And a lot of people still struggle with little fundamental things like CSing. If you are playing mages, you probably have a hard time CSing until you're used to it. When you build these early longswords, that makes your life CSing so much easier. 20 more AD is a lot. And when you can CS, <clears throat> when you can sit there and CS a lot more easily, your life just gets better. CSing is a fundamental thing in League of Legends. You have to be able to do it. You absolutely 100% have to be able to do it. Because if you cannot, you will not have a good time. You will be missing out on so much free money that there's really no reason for you to not have in your pocket. So I guess I'll walk over here and see if I can get a blue buff candy. It looks like it's not there. So I'm going to walk up here and get a red buff candy. My ultimate is back up. I do believe Lux still has her red or her barrier. So we're not going to worry about that. And also do note that every time I leave lane, I am making completely sure that I make this wave pushed out. So, ooh, is she going to go for this? Ooh. I don't know where Riven is. Otherwise, I would try and do something there with my ult. But I'd rather just keep it safe. You know, better safe than sorry, they always say. So, we'll walk up here. Really? That hit me still. What a bummer. What a bummer. It's not a big deal, though. If I had my flash, I could flash Charmer, but it is an Ivern, so I don't think we'll be able to kill her just off of that. So maybe not maybe not a good idea. Maybe not a wise choice. We should be able to, yeah, W those. Bot lane, good shit. Shen has no ultimate now because he ulted down bottom. I can actually run down here and see if I can help because Riven's down there and Shen is down there. So I'm going to ping on my way. Ivern's here too. If Jin can get over to us, we can definitely turn this. So, whoop. Go ahead and charm her up. Wait, Shen didn't ult that? What? Okay. Well, she's still dead. I said she's still dead. So get that. Oh, the flash shield, dude. All right, flash shield coming in. And get that kill. Oh, I'm still under the tower. Oh, no. All right, heal up. Ooh, dude, I'm so dead. Fuck. Okay. My fault. Completely my fault there. I went way harder than I needed to on that. But it's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. Very close to having this. I also wasn't using my potion. So that needs to be in the one slot. That way I can actually hit it more easily. Now for us, I'm going to grab the... What is it called? The Bilgewater Cutlass. Now this is going to have the same fundamental use for us as the Gunblade Active is. We still want to use it for the slow. Uh, when the Gunblade, when we get the Gunblade, we can use it for the damage and the slow. But morph right now, we want this for the slow. Because the slow makes it so much easier for us to hit our charm. The charm is a pretty narrow skill shot, as you can see, just by holding up the targeting reticle right there. So, when you have something to slow your target down, you can make it a little easier for yourself to land your skill shots. And that's one thing that I... <laughs> I know it sounds almost a little gimmicky, but if you can't land skill shots, you can't land skill shots. So find a way around it. Gunblade builds are a good way for that. And that's one of the reasons that LeBlanc, or not, yeah, yeah, I said the right name, <laughs> that LeBlanc does the same Gunblade build. 
So I'm going to sit here, ping my ultimate, ping them on my way. Ivern with this sweeper. We do know they are not here. Ooh, good slow? Maybe? Oh, he didn't land it. The slows from... Oh, the curtain call. Is he going to make them beautiful? Riven's down here. We can still do this. All right, throw the charm and... Oh, fuck, dude. Almost got him. I have my ultimate now, so I could go for this. But with me down here, Quinn's mid covering that wave. Don't need anything to go up there. Ooh, Lux trying to clear the wave. It is going to have some impact, but I don't know if it's going to be a... Holy shit, okay. What? I did not realize she had five kills. My bad. <laughs> Completely my fault there. I was... 100% unaware that she had that many kills. Um, wow. She did a lot of damage to me really quickly. But <laughs> live and learn, dude. If Quinn's able to get this tower, which I don't think she will, I would be able to afford my Gunblade there. Bummer, dude. Bummer, bummer. All right, well, I wish I knew. Or I wish I had paid attention to how strong that Riven is. So We'll give her a lot more respect now. We'll definitely pay more attention to that. Pay more mind to that, uh, to that fact. Wish I got the blue. But I guess he is 5-1-5. and five. He's carrying that bot lane really hard. So good job down there. You earned it, buddy. But living up to the name, dude. Living up to my name. Definitely seen. Let's see. And... Oh my god, I missed it. And boom. Beep. Doesn't even matter that I missed the flash charm there. She sidestepped that pretty well. Though I should have done it quite a lot faster. To make it so, um... It definitely didn't miss. Either way, I still got the kill. Using that AD to my advantage, man. Missing abilities doesn't even matter. But that's actually... It's something that I kind of forced there a lot more than I probably needed to. But I really wanted to show it to you guys. Because it's a very important thing to know how to do. Like, even though I messed it up, <laughs> super important to know how to do the flash charm. Cut, or charm flash, excuse me. There is a difference. <laughs> there is a very definite difference. Alright, Riven's dead, so I don't need to worry about that. And she does have a blue buff. And I don't have my ultimate, so I don't really have any kill pressure on her right now. I just want to keep pushing this wave in and getting minions. I can go back at any time and get my Gunblade. So as long as I don't get caught out by... Wow, dude, that's so unlucky. Okay, so we're just going to W that. There we go. Get those minions. Now we go back again. My CS, even though I've been out of lane, like... I'd say a third of this game already... I'm still right next to Lux's CS. I'm a little down because I'm missing CS that I don't need to. Um, but that's that's more just because I'm bad than anything else. Now, we need to go for this item. And since it's all we can afford right now, we will get the Aether Wisp. I'm actually also going to grab the Sweeping Lens. Because as an assassin, you do not want people to know where you are. If you can clear vision, that's even better. Now, Riven is making her way down bottom. They need to watch out for that guy. So, Riven making her way down bottom. I should probably clear this and go there myself. I do have my ultimate up. If Shen decides to ult, that's immediately a numbers advantage for them that I'll want to keep in mind. So, I'll probably. Since everyone's bottom, I'm actually going. Yeah. Dude, bummer. Did Shen ult? Yeah, he ulted. So, I'm just going to grab this and see if I can. Hustle bottom. Actually, no, I'm not going to hustle bottom. I'm going to get this mid turret. Since everyone just went bottom, this mid turret's completely free. Actually, the minions might get it. Are they? Yeah, the minions get it. But since I'm here, I get the local gold anyways. Super good for me. Clear out the wave, though. Get it pushing even harder. Force people to come back to me. Now I have this gun blade. We are a lot stronger. I already have 123 AD. She's here to clear the wave. If I land this... Bummer. Have I landed, like, any charms this game at all? Come to think of it, like, have I? I don't I don't know if I have. Oh well. Oh well, I think I've landed like one, if any. Oh, no. This is control ward right there. That stops him from showing up. I don't want to just face check this bush knowing they were just over here. Okay. We're good. We good. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of people. Oh no. Okay, wait. He's still alive. He is still alive. All right, I'm going to zap this, and ba-boom, and ba-boom. Get me out of here before I'm stuck in a situation that I can't get myself out of. And, ooh. Wait, hang on. 
Hold up. Oh, she's dead. Nice root collar, dude. And wait, is she actually dead? No, she's not. <laughs> she's not. I thought she was. Dude, if I land a fucking charm. Oh, well. Fox got my tongue or something, I guess. I am not a charming individual today. So we are not getting these charms landed. Either way, I can back real fast. Grip, or go <laughs> get my sheen. And then we'll be in an even better spot. So, let's actually do that. Yeah, let's finish the sheen here. We are good. This just aids more to my burst damage that I don't actually need to land abilities with. So, as you can see, 3, 2, and 3, 115 CS. Not doing bad in any way. Um, so, let's just keep that up. And as this game goes on, I'll just become more and more of a monster. You guys will see it. The Gunblade damage, just alone, the active is doing 260 damage right now. Or 200 and, uh, yeah, that's 260. 263. Sorry, I just couldn't math real well in my head there. The only issue that some people find with this build is the lack of CDR early because you don't, like I said, build that Morello's early. So you don't have that, you don't have that CDR crutch. I don't want to go that way. <laughs> I actually don't want to go that way. Woo! I actually hit a charm! We did it! We did it! Obviously, he's pretty tanky, so I can't just, like, burst him out, but, uh... Yeah, we can still we can still give him a little licking. We can show him who's boss as he's walking by. Show him that I'm the QB, as Naruto would say. I actually am so glad that Naruto finally ended. I know it's completely off subject, but just a little side note. I'm very glad that Shippuden finally ended. I really enjoyed that, but so fucking long, dude. All right, now that I got that off my chest. I should be able to kill a 0-6 Vayne without uh, much of my, <laughs> many of my abilities landing. As long as I use and land some of them, I should be good. Oh, hello. Now we Gunblade this and still miss the charm because I am just awful. But look at all this damage, dude. Just from auto attacking. She's a speedy one with that shield, dude. Holy shit. I am actually displaying why this is noob friendly, dude. Gunblade to not miss the charm, still miss the charm. The ankle spanking classic. What am I doing, dude? Wait. And I just sweeped a bush that I have a fucking control order. I... Yeah, guys, it's early in the morning. <laughs> That's my excuse. Don't worry. Just, just don't worry about it. Come on, it's fine. I'm trying my best. Wait, Shen's all in. So, ooh, oh, the Jin is dead. Okay. Oh, but Riven's still dead. Quinn. Nice. Vayne got a kill. She's worth money again. This is good. Vayne being worth money again is so good for us, dude. Now I get in here and I carry the fight. Here we go. Here we go. And Zap, go ahead and tase him. Nail the charm. And oh, don't be like me. <laughs> Don't be like Ankle Spanker. Don't use your ultimate to get yourself out of the fucking queue. That's one thing a lot of Aries do on mistake, like I just did. Is they'll be ulting someone, and then they'll queue. And then they'll ult past them for the damage. But it will make them miss the return of their queue. So the true damage doesn't actually land. And let's see. So, and... Ba-boom! Go ahead and nail that. Perfectly executed flash charm there. Will it be enough? It is. Good shit. Good shit. Perfectly executed charm flash there. Finally showing why it's good. And you guys will have seen the little, you know, how to do that at the beginning of this video. I'm going to throw that in. So, so good shit. Get our full Lich Bane now. And let me go over the rest of the build for you guys. Because this build does still also incorporate 40% CDR. Now the rest of the build is Morello Namicon. <laughs> Namicon. And Sorcerer's Shoes. Then a Zonia's. And then either Lich Bane, or not Lich Bane, uh, either Rabadons or Void Staff. Now, if Zonia's adds too many buttons for your mind to comprehend, I know having two actives can feel like a lot. Um, you can exchange that and put six scaling CDR runes in your uh, glyphs. That way you get the 10% CDR that you'd be missing. And then you can just build Rabadons and Void Staff, or, you know, Rabadons and Ludens, or Ludens and Void Staff, whatever you want. Um, just Void Staff, they have MR, Rabadons if they don't, Rabadons or Ludens if they don't. Or, you can not use Sorcerer's Shoes and get Ionian Boots instead if you can't afford the runes, which won't be a problem soon because runes are being replaced. Um, 
So you can exchange it for Ionians instead of Sorcerer's Shoes, and then get the same items like I just said. So those are the alternatives there. Completely viable options all around. Don't feel like you're doing the wrong thing. If you feel like like if you feel like gaining Azonias is just too much thought, then don't go for it. Simple as that. But I believe it is a very invaluable item. If you can use it properly, if you can learn to use it properly, it is incredibly strong and way too useful for anything. Uh, also, one other thing I completely just forgot to mention is that Gumblade is, I think, the only item in the game that still has Spell Vamp, which makes it so your abilities heal you on hit. So basically, as soon as you get Gumblade, you have your passive up for every skill you use, which, not literally, of course, but basically because all of your abilities just heal you for so much. Now, I have 900 health, right? The full wave is coming towards me. I have my passive up and the Gumblade. Watch my heal. Watch it. Y'all watching this? Boom. Just like that, 400 HP, almost back to full. Now let's see. Oh. Okay. Okay. You guys remember what I was talking about? That was the Gunblade Lich Bane auto attack burst. All I did was alt at her, land my charm, and then hit W and Gunblade at the same time. That's all I did. And along with Quinn bouncing her face off of her, she instantly died. Now that's a one shot, basically. Is Shen gonna die? Oh, good shit, dudes. Good shit. We can probably. Eh. Our team's not very good at baroning, plus we don't. We're not healthy at all. I was gonna say we might be able to baron off of that, but I don't think we actually can. Oh well. Not a big deal. Still super good plays for our team. I'm going to actually run into their jungle here with my sweeper on because sweeper not only does it show wards it also disables them so if you guys don't know that this ward can't see shit <laughs> just in case you guys didn't know that little fun fact that little detail the reason i was doing this is because i know that we just killed a bunch of them and if this is up i want it and since it was up i want it so i take that now they lose out on their blue buff which is not only 100 gold but the blue buff and it's just more resources and experience that you can take away from the enemy team. So after you kill the enemies or get any sort of pick or anything like that, if you can't immediately get an objective like a dragon or a baron or a tower anywhere, what you should do instead is try and go into their jungle, see what you can take, um, whether it be just a normal camp, a buff, or anything. Make sure you just take something. Deny the enemies as much resources as possible resources of any kind because that denial and that gain that you get is how you seize advantages and run away with them so do remember that a lot of people way too many people forget that and let's see Ooh, hello hello i can actually clear this real fast just make sure they don't have a worded it's a fine use of my sleeper to clear a ward that they know that i'm there because it doesn't matter that much that they know me running through here, though, is a little risky. A little risky. So I'm going to run this way. I'm not going to run behind them. I don't know if that's warded, and I do see Lux's mid. So if you know I get caught by a snare, I'm dead. I am a dead boy. And that's another thing that makes um, Zonia's even better this game. Is because Lux catching you is only a snare. It's not a stun. It's not a taunt. It's not a suppression. It's none of those things. It is only a snare, meaning you can still use your abilities... When you are in it, ba boom! Use that gun blade burst, dash out of the thing, and beep, get the double kill. Come on, and oh, nailed the charm, dude! Give me that triple kill, baby. That's what I like to see. Come on, can I get more? Shen is coming in, maybe. Oh, I missed the charm completely. We have Ivern in the mix. As long as I'm queuing and kiting, Q and kite the Q and kite. Come on, we can still do this. Ribbon got him, and boom. Not going to be able to get a Penta here. But that burst, the Charm Flash, dude, is too good. All right, we just got an ace. That's Baron. Though we don't have anyone here to tank it at the moment. But goddamn, that combo is just too good, dude. Way too good. So picking that up is enough for the Baron. After we killed Baron, I can back in my full Namicon. 
We're gonna start popping off even more. I'm actually already 10, 2, and 6. I didn't even realize. So. Good stuff, dudes. Good stuff. Let's grab the the thingamaboo here. There we go. Now we have 343 AP, 30% CDR, and we're at four items. Now, this build, since, like I said, sometimes if they're building MR, you don't actually build voids, or, uh, you don't actually build Rabadons, which a lot of people are like, heretic! You don't build Rabadons on an assassin mage? You're crazy! Well, kind of, right? You would think that I'm just goddamn crazy. But as good as the item is, if they have MR, you getting a Void Staff will provide so much more damage than that raw AP increase will. Too many people forget that, and it causes them to build kind of poorly because they just tunnel vision on getting a Rabadons, and then they just don't do near as much damage as they could. So, let's see. Whoop. Oh god, I accidentally ulted. Holy shit. Okay, this is awkward. This is nice and awkward. Um, so, ooh, oh. try and make some worth. <laughs> try and make some use of the ultimate since I fucking fat fingered it. Sausage fingers, dude. Right, I got the I got the champion. Turret. Turret. Champion. Wait, there's a ribbon back there. Okay. And. Huh. I don't know what I hid. I should have just blown my combo there, dude. I'm so sorry, team. I don't have my ultimate because I sausage fingered it. Oh my god, Quinn's damage, though. Okay. Dude, who needs. Boop. <laughs> Taser! Who needs my ultimate? Wait, what? 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 What in tarnation? Oh, they surrendered. Cool. Alright, well. Fortunately for us, we didn't even get to... Well, unfortunately to some people. But fortunately, unfortunately, however you look at it, we didn't get to hear Ari's hot death noise as much that game. But S minus due to our low CS um, and probably a lack of warding. I didn't ward too much that game. Should have done that more. But I think this was a very good example of you guys saw how poorly I was playing in the early game. But how much I just depended on the resources I gave myself. That Lich Bane burst. That Gunblade burst. The noob friendly build. And my roams. I explained why I roamed when I did and how I did it. So you guys can have a very easy and simple understanding of how to do a lot of the things I just did. Um, and let's look at the damage real fast. Ooh, being beat by the Riven and very close to the Quinn. But still good damage nonetheless. Everybody did very well that game on my team. Very proud of them. That Vein got shut down, dude. Holy shit, did she get shut down. But... Good game all around, and I hope you guys did learn something. If you guys are interested in learning Ari, but you're a little afraid to try a champion like this, don't be afraid. Try this build. It does simplify some things for you, and if you can get used to just playing for fun, playing things you enjoy to have fun, then you'll feel a lot more comfortable playing things. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, do make sure you leave a like and a comment. It really does help me out. If you want, you can join my public Discord or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All four links will be in the description below, and as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!